Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome students to another tutorial on Python programming essentials. In this tutorial we are gonna, oh actually in the in this series of tutorials or videos we are gonna cover lists in Python. So first of all what is list? Basically if you remember in the, in the second module when we wanted to store a variable and use it later on store it I mean in the computer memory we used to use something called variable okay like var like when we come here and say var equals 2 so var is going to be a location in the memory with the value of 2 okay so now what if you want to store more than one value in the computer memory for future use or for for any other purpose okay what if you want to store a sequence of numbers so if you want to store a single number usually you're gonna say number equals 3 but if you want to store a sequence of numbers then you're gonna use lists usually lists are gonna be enclosed between square brackets so you're gonna start the list with a left square bracket an opening square bracket and then you close it with uh, closing square brackets within these square brackets you're gonna put your list elements it could be a collection of any elements so we're gonna start with numbers one two three four or five let's make it four now these this list number is gonna be one two three four in order to, to see it let's just print it we're gonna print list oh, sorry not list we're gonna print numbers you see the result here it's gonna be one two three four but when you print number I'm gonna print a number here it's gonna be three the beginning and then one two three four so this is the difference this is a single value and this is a collection of elements sequence of numbers anyway why we call it a collection of elements because it's not necessarily a sequence of numbers so I'm gonna get rid of this uh, get rid of this print statement fully and then I'm gonna call this list you can call it anything you want and now you are gonna see that I can store anything within it ABC and then comma true and then 3.46 and then another string hello and anything basically you can store any collection of data and then we are gonna save it sorry printed you see that you have one ABC true 3.46 hello of course this is not the only way used to initiate or to create a list there are many several ways to do that but we are gonna cover only this for the sake of this course okay so we're gonna focus on this of course we can start with an empty list and then we fill it later as we will see in this video we are not gonna uh, learn how to add and delete elements we are gonna learn how to create list how to print list basically we are gonna learn list indexing and list slicing okay so this is the purpose of this video so we learned now how to create a list so when you when we print an empty list you're gonna see an empty square bracket okay you're not gonna see the, the values only you're gonna see the all of these now if you want to print the type of this type of this variable you're gonna see that let me ref reset or delete this you're gonna see that this type is list okay however if you assign a number to it then the type is going to be an integer if you assign a float to it the type is going to be a float and so on okay so this is the first point in this video I'm gonna try to make the videos a little bit short than usual so now how to access elements within a list so let me just undo I'm gonna just have a list with random numbers sorry okay any no uh, random numbers and now we are gonna print the following we're gonna print list this is gonna print the whole list as we showed a while ago and if we want to print the first value of the list we are gonna type an index like this list 
between square brackets zero you don't use parentheses because as we said before parentheses are related to functions which is going to be covered in the next module inshallah okay so this is going to be the first uh, element and this is going to be the second element and so on let me show you the result here print you see the first element is 1 and the second element is 4 now let's just go here and talk about a little bit about the list indexing uh, as we said uh, list is usually sorry what's happening um, let me click okay I'm not sure what's wrong with this it was working a while ago and okay let me just clear it out and okay okay don't worry about that we are gonna just start a PowerPoint and I'm gonna create a simple table basically to show you the list indexing let me just get rid of these and I'm gonna insert a table with the three rows and several columns and the it's going to be just a normal table like this okay so consider that you have this list let me just select everything and make sure it's aligned horizontal and vertically so we're gonna have one two uh, not one two let us see our list one four zero ten minus whatever one four zero ten minus twenty four three nine eight twelve fifteen so now this is the list let me just sorry uh, let me just bold it and this is going to be my list we can increase this a little bit okay and this is going to be the the list let me insert another table with these values only and I'm gonna make it also like this you see you're gonna see why I'm doing this why I am doing this basically so this is the list and this is and negative indexing we're gonna select both those uh, okay so I'm gonna make this green because it's positive and I'm gonna make this red because it's negative let's see now uh, positive indexing is gonna start always from zero so this is gonna be zero one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so list of zero is going to be one list of one is going to be four list of two is going to be zero list of three is going to be ten and so on so this is the positive indexing it's always starts from zero however negative indexing is also possible and it's going to start from here negative it's the reverse way or the other way around so we are going to start from minus one and then minus two and then minus three and then minus four then minus 5 and then minus 6 minus 7 and minus sorry minus 8 minus 9 and 10 so what do you mean by that is it list of minus 10 sorry not 10 it is minus 10 list of minus 10 equals list of 0 so the first question that you might ask why is the negative starts from minus 1 not 0 I guess it's obvious be obvious sorry because we cannot have zeros for both sides because Python will get confused so since we have zero here we cannot have it there okay so let's uh, try now in our, in our example so this is how indexing is going to work positive indexing negative indexing and this is the list let's just increase the size so not that much this is the list okay so let's go back and see so minus one what anyway let's just let me use the same values here 3 9 8 12 15 3 9 8 12 15 I'm leaving spaces just to make it 
12 a little bit more obvious so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yep exactly 9 so now we go back here and now we try to print we said we can go for negative indexing so I will just reset this and no need for another print basically I'm gonna just put comma and I'm gonna put it here and we are gonna print to see so this is 1 because of 0 and 15 which is minus 1 as we said okay so minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 what if we printed minus 10 is it gonna be 1 as well refresh and we are gonna print 1 and 1 as we expected okay because here minus 10 is gonna be 1 0 is gonna be 1 so this is basically list indexing this is very important very useful it is how you access list values now the third topic and the last topic of this video is going to be the list slicing what do you mean by list slicing what if I want to print this slice only or this slice only how I'm gonna do that it is very simple and we are gonna do it like this you are gonna write list between the square brackets sorry you are uh, let me just leave spaces so it's gonna be more readable I'm gonna just write two values start value colon not comma like range end value so we're gonna start we have a start and end of course both of them are optional but remember end will not be included and let me write this so when you see the video you remember it end is not included sorry uh, spelling mistake is not included and is not included just like the range so what do you mean by that so this is going to be um, sorry this is going to be a comment because we cannot type it like that the start and end should be something so we are gonna uh, as we said it is both optional so what if we print it like this what's gonna be the result let us print and see it's gonna be all since it is optional so the default value is going to be from the beginning to the end of the list so but what if I did the following I want to start from 0 to sorry I want to start from 0 to, to 4 we are going to print 0 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 4 will not be included so we're going to have this result print 1 4 0 10 as we expected of course you can print from 6 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 6 7 8 9 8 12 this is going to be the result 9 8 12 okay but what if we wrote an index that is not available like 12 what's going to be the result now wait for sandbox to execute 9 8 12 15 since it exceeds or larger than the length of the list it's not going to generate a syntax error it's going is it will just print the last element okay so now you have to remember what very important thing in order for the range to have a value the start should be before the end location based so start before the end not after it regardless of the values so I can print from minus 9 to 6 it's gonna be okay what I'm gonna what's gonna be the result you see here if I'm gonna just say I want to print from here sorry I will just fill it okay no problem to here we are gonna have this value because 6 will not be included so we're gonna have 4 0 10 minus 24 3 from minus 9 to 6 let us try it out let me delete this and minus 9 to 6 print you see 4 0 10 minus 14 3 as expected so the condition uh, sorry not this the the condition for the for the range or for the slice to work the start value should be before the end value okay 
what if I did I, I said I want to print from 2 to minus 10 what's going to be the result can you expect it from 2 to minus 10 let's refresh this and play what do you expect as expected why nothing or why empty because the start is not before the end let's go back here you see the start is after the end so this is the start and this is the end so the result is going to be empty list or null list okay so this is the the golden rule for the slices the start should be before the end in order to print and then end will not be included the end index I'm not saying value the end index will not be included you can mix positive and negative indices you can use only positive indices only negative indices uh, indices it's okay okay so this is how we use list slicing okay so that's it for this video we learned how to create a list how to access list items which is called list indexing and again there is positive and negative indexing and then we learned how to access or to get a part of the list which is called list slicing also you can use positive and negative indexing remember that you have a start and end and the start should be before the end in order to have a values otherwise you're gonna have a none or an empty list not none nil or an empty list okay thank you very much for watching and see you in, uh, in the next video of this series working with lists thank you very much and have a nice day